hi folks okay so we'll just try to understand about like looking at the bigger picture step number two in our machine learning end-to-end -end project series okay so in this we have to understand that uh, first task we have performed to build the model of house prices right so we are looking this data set now i have already described that we are looking about the data set data set which data set is it is house prices in california okay house prices in california data set is there okay this is a our data set basically is about okay so in this data set the data has a matrix data has a matrix called as a median income median income is there okay like uh, median income house price and population these are the things are there these are the certain metrics are there okay so this published sample data has a population population is how much 600 to 300 people 600 to 3000 people of the population okay this is a particular data set is having okay so so what uh, yeah, you are building the model okay uh, learning and your model should learn from the data and uh, what the things your outcome is to there you have to achieve that is you have to build the model okay build the model so that so that you it will learn from the data okay so that it will learn from the data okay understand the things folks okay i am making as a as simpler as possible okay you have to build the model so that it will learn from the data okay understood so this is a particular thing that you have to learn from the data and you have to predict what you want to do you have to predict the house house price in any district okay what's your outcome is you have to predict the house prices you have to predict the house prices in all the district in in all district so they have to uh, predict the price in any district given all other matrix okay given all other matrix so this thing you have to you have to understand about that now so you will be first thing you have to understand that you should be well well organized enough you are a data scientist you will be looking now you will be following the checklist now here okay you are this you are a data scientist you will be putting the certain checklist what performing the things right so you will be looking at the data and you will be finding it out this things is important and you will be trying to ask to your manager or ask to your boss what is exactly the business objective okay you will be framing the problem first then you will be trying to solve the problem right the first thing is you have to frame the problem first okay that is only the our as a data scientist we have to understand right so first question that uh, that question number one that arises that okay first question you will be asking to your boss okay asking to your boss you'll be asking to your boss that asking to your boss what is the exactly business objective okay what is a exactly business objective will be asking to your boss what is exactly the exactly the business objective exactly 
द बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्टिव वट इज एग्जैक्टली द बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्टिव बेसिकली सो यू शुड नॉट टेल दैट बिल्डिंग द मॉडल इज प्रोबेबली नॉट एंड द गोल ओके आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट बिल्डिंग अ मॉडल इज नॉट अ बिल्डिंग एंड मॉडल इज नॉट इज अ इज नॉट एन एंड गोल राइट इज नॉट एन एंड गोल प्रोबेबली नॉट एन एंड गोल सो बिल्डिंग अ मॉडल इज नॉट अ प्रोबेबली एंड गोल सो हाउ डज कंपनी एक्सपेक्ट टू यूज एंड बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द मॉडल सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट विल डिटर्मिन हाउ यू फ्रेम द मॉडल वॉट एलगोरिदम्स यू वॉन्ट टू टेक इट वॉट एलगोरिदम्स यू वॉन्ट टू सिलेक्ट एंड वॉट परफॉर्मेंस मेजर यू विल यूज टू इवेल्यूएट यूर मॉडल सो सो दैट क्वेश्चन लाइक बिजनेस ऑब्जेक्टिव इट सेल्फ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो बेस्ड अपॉन दैट यू विल बी सिलेक्टिंग द एलगोरिदम ओके you will be selecting the ml algorithm okay you will be checking evaluate the ml algorithm performance metrics that will be coming into the picture right performance metrics also differ like model to model like which particular algorithm to choose based upon this particular problem okay so this this is a flow you have to understand what is a business objective what the particular problem that business want to solve that is only the particular outcome want to understand okay so you have to understand like other other parameters something like uh, upstream components district data that you want to collect it from the server that may depends right right one thing is comes into the picture is district data we wanted basically right you wanted the house prices from the district data this is also one particular data we have so this is a district pricing okay so district pricing district pricing then from that you will be extracting the district prices right you will be extracting the district prices then you will be other parameters from this district prices like what are the investment analysis are available in this and what will be the price will be in that particular area okay so understand sequence of data processing components is nothing but a data pipeline okay understood like there is a lot of data then data that may depend like either you have to manipulate that data or either you want to apply the data transformation technique on that may it depends you will understand what is this data transformation in later parts to for now understand like factors that is influencing for the like house pricing like in short you can understand like that okay so now on uh, this things you understood now the question number 2 you will ask that okay question number 2 next question you will be asking that what current solution will look like next question is to ask is what is the current solution will look like boss will be asking you it will of, often give you a reference reference uh, reference performance as well as the insight how to solve the problem your boss answers that a district house pricing are current tested estimated manually okay your boss is telling that whatever the prices are there district how we can solve this particular problem so he is having a district house pricing okay what he is telling that we have a district house pricing which is manually written by experts okay manually written by experts so that is only they are telling manually written by the experts a team should gather the up to date information about the district whether they when they cannot get the median house price they estimated using the complex rules so what they are telling is so they should get the exact prices from the complex rules complex algorithm we have to apply that is only he is telling 
using the complex rule he should get the median house prices of that district median house prices of the district that is only the boss is telling median house prices of the district he should get okay this is the things he is answering boss is answering okay this is costly and time consuming their estimates are not great in cases where they manage to find out the median house pricing they often realize that their estimates were will be the more than 20% that is why company thinks that now company is thinking thinking to be used to train a model to predict the district median house prices given the data about the district if the data has been given to for that particular district it should find the like it should predict the house pricing of the median house pricing this particular thing okay 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 i understood that okay with this information we are now ready with the start designing the system first first understand whenever now this bosses has told that all of this information you got the idea okay all of the information that is you have clarified clarified from the boss right these are the information you have clarified from the boss okay clarified from the boss this is the thing okay okay so i understood that i framed the problem this thing this thing is over now okay we have framed the problem we have framed the problem okay this thing is clear for our objective okay this is thing is clear for our mind now so whether it is a supervised which algorithm which technique to choose we have to understand what a problem statement is either to apply supervised learning unsupervised learning or reinforcement learning or batch learning or online learning or or instance based learning which particular task is this will uh, suitable so if it is a numerical value and it is a classification or where there is a training is needed by the humans like teacher then we'll just give the labels to that with the labels will be going to treat them right so certain tasks will comes into the category of the regression that we have understood with our discussion right regression task that is a particular sense now okay on pause try to answer this like if it is a label then we have to understand that this is a a supervised learning right so medial income is only the one particular we have to yeah, start from that okay like is there any dependency like each attribute is dependent on each other that is also we have to take in take care of that if the data is more then we have to think of like batch batch learning or something kind of that technique then so we understood that this is a regression tasks okay for next step we have to uh, like we have to check like performance measure right like how the model is performing after building the model you have to check the certain metrics right is that the particular model is working fine whatever we have built the problem build the build the solution is it working fine for the new generated data as well so that that particular problem we have to understand so one of the metrics called as rmse root mean square error we'll just try to find it it out so that says that for of actual of independent data okay actual minus predicted that will be equal to square root of reciprocal of slope okay okay that is we have to sum up all the data points okay from actual minus predicted values we have to take into the consideration okay we have to take into the consideration we have to square that okay that will give us the performance measure of that matrix okay so this is a overall idea about it so there are in this rmsc there are main uh, main comes to the minimum absolute error right 
some of the matrix will come into the picture when we have to look about uh, look about this uh, uh, root mean square error okay it will depends like what assumption is there and what the things will be going to understand that okay it all depends upon the things now in the next video we'll just try to get the data okay we'll create the workspace and we'll just try to understand how the things will be going to work about the next video we'll just try to get the data first okay we'll just get the data and we'll be getting the data we'll be going to understand okay like what series of steps will be going to follow that will understand in the next video so we will be understanding like how is it is going to work upon this okay if you have understood up till now up till here you can just uh share with your friends and colleagues so uh, that motivates me to create such awesome content folks okay that's it about this video folks if you like this video you can just uh, share with your friends and if you like this this content is adding value to your life then you can just subscribe to my channel